Hey there, are you wondering what I do to keep my skin fresh and moisturized? Or maybe you have sensitive combination acne prone skin and you want to know what products work best for your skin type. Then stay tuned for my skincare routine. Welcome, if you're new here, my name is Karina, also known as Kari. And in today's video, I'm going to go over my simple skincare routine that was requested by a subscriber of mine. So let's get right into it. The first step in my skincare routine is to use a facial cleanser. Now, I've tried different facial cleansers from high-end to low-end, and I have to say I am loving this one in particular right now because it really works to get all of the makeup off and I use a double cleanse method, which means I use this once to break down the makeup and get it all off, and then I use it again to get all the dirt and the gunk out of my pores. And even when I use it both times, it doesn't overdrive my skin and it leaves it clean without having so much residue on top. Definitely a big plus because of my sensitive skin. I break out if a face wash does leave residue. I've tried using my cellar water in the past and even with that, I have to wash my face afterwards or the residue that it leaves behind ends up making me break out. The next step in my skincare routine is to moisturize. Now don't laugh, but I've been using this Trader Joe's antioxidant facial moisturizer for about two years now. And I stray away to try new products because I like to try new products. And then I keep coming back to this. As you can see, it is very well loved. I use this every day. I love that it's suitable for all skin types. There are some moisturizers that tend to be too heavy for my skin type. And then there are some moisturizers that don't do much at all when it comes to moisturizing. This is a nice balance of giving me the right moisture amount and yet not being so heavy where it's going to make me break out. The next step in my skincare routine, because it is winter time, I like to add a serum on top of my moisturizer. This one is by Clarins. It actually works really nicely with that Trader Joe's moisturizer. And what I like about this is sometimes I'll use this alone if my skin is feeling pretty good when it comes to moisture level. And I just want something that's going to make me more dewy and glowy and I definitely use this product underneath my foundation and it doesn't mess with it too much. It actually works well with my NARS foundation. So I do like to use this, but because it is winter time, the next step in my skincare routine is to add a rose water facial toner. This is also by Trader Joe's, surprise, surprise. So there are times where I'm indoors all day and the heat system will be on blast and that will end up drying out my skin even though i'll put on a generous layer of moisturizer and serum i'll end up feeling like my skin is feeling a little bit tight i spray this on and it just gives it that extra boost of moisture that my skin definitely needs without lingering with the smell and without irritating my skin and without feeling greasy i will say a little disclaimer that due to hormones and eating habits, I do break out sometimes, which makes me acne prone. And I do get some cystic pimples. You can see one right there. I get them on my forehead. So I get them occasionally. The way I like to combat this is by using a benzoyl peroxide or a salicylic acid, a salicylic acid acne spot treatment. Back to my skincare routine. Now those are the four steps that I take on a regular basis, this is my daily routine, but because I do wear makeup and I do a lot of different looks, I do tend to exfoliate slash detox my skin about once, once a week or once every two weeks depending on how often I've been using makeup. I have been using these two products. This is the Trader Joe's exfoliating scrub i know you guys i really love trader joe's and i tried this out just to see what it was all about and it actually works really well i tend to get some grittiness in the pores area around here 
And when that ends up happening, I can tell that it's build up of oil and dead skin cells and it just feels greasy or use a detox mask. I've been loving this Origins detox mask. To be honest, I like this stuff because it doesn't burn my skin. And after I wash it off, it doesn't leave me all red and blotchy. In the past, I have used the facial sheet masks that you see that are very popular, especially in Korean beauty. I have tried a Korean beauty skincare routine as well. So I've been alternating between different routines and different products. For right now, what's working for my skin the best is just keeping it super simple. If you're already a subscriber, leave me a comment and let me know if you plan to try any products from this video. If you've ever heard of Trader Joe's facial products or if you ever tried any of their other facial products, they have a whole bunch of stuff in their facial skincare section. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!